minutes for me. Today I'm going to call it Lily because today I will give her a special gift. Okay, wait. Lily? Okay, I'm here. What gift do you want to give me? Okay, I will give you a gift. Very nice gift. But first, you need to learn with us. Today, we're going to learn about science too. With Lily, we're going to learn science. Today, we're going to learn about living and non-living things. So, I've told you before about the very funny, wonderful maps, right? Maybe you can remember it if you are my old friend. But if you are my new friend, then now I will say this topic for you. We have living things. Living things are things that can survive, but they need air, food, water, and space to live. Now let's see. We have this. So are you ready? We're going to watch about a video about living things. So I will show you. Okay. I have this little plant here. Wow! Look. Wow! Look at this root. It's growing bigger, right? Wow! When you see, oh, maybe now you can't see, but you can see at the top of it there is a big plant. Wow! It's growing very fast. Maybe it's not a real video, but it is a video about the real plants growing. Now we have a radish. They're showing us a radish and how it looks. Okay. <gasps> wow! Look at it. It. Wow! So wonderful. Wow! Wonderful. Now maybe you can't see it, but you can see. Oh, what? Look so so so. Like it's beaming because it's growing. Maybe you can see Spanish around very different way, more different than others. So you can know. Next, we have tomato plant. We have the tomato inside it and then covered in the dirt, the food. Now wait, wow, look at it. It looks so cute. Now, this is called a seedling and we're real big. We can call it a new plant. Now wait for the new plant to grow. Oh, oh, wow, it grows bigger now. Wow, big, so big. And look at its thin body. You can see it's torn, right? Now let's look at some broccoli sprouts. Okay, watered it. Now wait. Wow, look, it's changed and now. Wow, so many seedlings. Oh, it looks so wonderful. Okay, let me make it into um um slowly. Okay, so now you can see it's growing very fast. Now we have barley. Do you know where the barley is? Watch this video so you can know the barley. Wow, wow, look at itself. It's growing. Wow, look at its little plants. It looks so nice, right? Very, very nice. You can see. Now we have the garden trees, the last plant, okay? Watch closely. I will show it with a very, very slow time so that you can See it by yourselves. Okay. Wow, look at its cells. It looks so wonderful. Right? Of course, I love these plants very much. And I love to watch these seedling rows. So you maybe can plant a tree. But remember, it needs to have air, food, and water, and space too. It can grow and changes in many different types, and it is alive. Now we have non-living things. Non-living things are not alive, and they never, never rose. They never needs air, food, or water, or other things. So now I will show you a video. Already, let's start. Okay, let's watch Lily. Here we have some big rocks. Rocks are solid chunks of one with more minerals. They have many minerals inside it. Wow, look at that rock. That person is looking at the rock. Georgia study rocks. Of course, they study rocks. Georgia is a read about how many different types of rocks there are. There are so many different types of rocks, right? So many. 
we have some sedimentary rocks. We can watch about sedimentary rocks now. Sedimentary rocks are the category that a rock belongs to us. How that rock was made? Wow! Sedimentary rocks. That's very long. What word does mean? Sedimentary rocks are rocks that are made up of little particles. So they're very, very small. Right? So we've watched two videos about living things and non-living things. Maybe you know about them. Very good. So now let's play. Okay, we'll play a game. What's its name? Guessing and answering. So I will show you some different pictures about living things and non-living things. You tell me, is it a non-living thing or a living thing? So now, let me show you my favorite thing. <laughs> okay, I have this one. This one. Okay, Lily, can you share it with your friends? So your friends will answer first. Okay, so here I have a picture of a of some fruits of a basket of fruits. So now you show me, is it a living thing or a non-living thing? I'll give you five, six, five, four, three, two, one. Can you see it? Okay, if you can't, I will say Lily. Lily, how this? It is a non-living thing. No, it's a living thing. Mm, so why do you change from a non-living thing to a living thing? Because I forgot that these are on the tree, so they're now alive. But when they're not on the tree, they're not a living thing because they don't need any air or food or water anymore. But when they're in the trees, they are living things. So remember for that, fruits not always are non-living things. They sometimes are living things, sometimes as non-living things. So now let me show you. Okay. I have school supplies. We have pictures of school supplies. This one I will give to Pinky. Okay, we have some examples like calculators, pencil holder or like a pencil case, personal planner, eraser, sharpener, scissors, glues, pencils, slatters, tumbles. Do you know what a tumble is? It's like a special cup for us to use, and that cup will never be far be out in the water. So we have pencil pouch, or we can call it pencil case too. Cell phone pens. This like a two two pens together, and they will make a shape like this. And you put it, put the first pen, the shorter pen on the paper and then you move the paper or you move the pen to make a circle. Can you remember that? We use it a lot in art classes or math classes. So now show me Lily. Now it's time for Lily. Don't answer her. Maybe you can answer first, but don't say to Lily. Okay. My special sense of hearing. I can't hear you. <laughs> okay, so now tell me. Um, it's a non-living thing because these can't move or can't do anything with themselves. Yes, you're right. So Lily is not cheating. Very nice. A very good time. Okay, so next. Hmm, let me see. Hmm? Oh, this may be my favorite thing. Show you. Okay. Um, this is like a pink flower, right? Oh, it looks so beautiful. It has many layers. Okay, answer me. I'll use my sense of hearing to hear you. I can hear you. Okay. Thanks for your help, Lily. Okay. Oh, you say that is a living thing? Wow. How can you know that? Oh, oh, Minghui. Minghui. What's the matter? They're saying it's non living thing. No, it's not non living thing, but it's living thing. Living thing? So you have the correct.
correct answer. Flowers slip in trees. They rose in the if they don't have enough air for the water, they fall. So that means this is the right choice for you. The right choice for you. Living things. Great job. Next one. I have many ones to show you. Okay. This one is special for you. Wow, these are like books, right? Books, English books. So they look like blue color. Oh, I love these blue colors. So Lily, answer me. Okay. Ah, I know. Uh, it's a non-living thing because it never rose. Oh, very nice, Lily. The next one I have. Oh, what a cute thing. Do you love it? Please show me so that I'm not alone in this cute group. So this is a very cute top, but I think it is like a cartoon, but it's real. So now, you tell me, is it a living thing or a non-living thing? Five? Four, three, two, one, zero. Yes, it's a living thing because it can move. And of course, it's alive and it needs air, food, water, and of course, space too. The last one I want to show you, this may be my favorite. Oh, what about this cute guy here? Oh, he looks so cute, right? Maybe I'm falling in love with this guy. So now, answer me, Lily. Okay. Ah, I know. It's a living thing because that's a deer. It's a baby deer. Yes. So today we learned about living things and non-living, right? Very nice. So I have the last questions for you. This may be silly, but it can practice your own cells. Now, you can have a project. When you are at home and you have your phone or your computer or any device that you can use or search in Google or others apps, you can search for me pictures that you like and tell me, are they living things or non-living things? I have this very nice app for you so that you can find, so that you can find those very special things. Very special things. No, very special pictures, photos. So I have this app, Pinterest. Pinterest is a very nice app. You can download it. It's spelled P-I-N-T-E-R-E-S-D. Pinterest. Like interest in penning, in painting. Wow. So now, show me if you have the right knowledge for this lesson. Mm, of course, and I have these questions for you. Are you a living thing? Please answer me. I know it's silly, but answer me. Now it's time to say bye. Bye. See you next time. Have a good day. See ya.